It may have been the most dangerous movie production ever. Melanie Griffith and Tippi Hedren starred in the 1981 picture War. The cast and crew survived 70 animal attacks. John Blackstone takes a look at a movie that's only making it to American theaters now. When Hollywood makes a film about humans and big cats these days, usually the ferocious felines are fake, created on computers which is what makes the recently unearthed movie Roar so captivating. Filmed over five years in the late 1970s, it's all real. Real animals, real bites, real blood. Oh, those guys are fighting. One of the most dangerous movies ever made, perhaps the most dangerous movie ever made? I would say probably the most dangerous. John Marshall co-starred in the film with his family, including his stepmother, Tippi Hedren, best known for her starring role in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, and her daughter, Melanie Griffith, herself an emerging young actress. Melanie, Mom, get in here. The film also starred and was directed by John's father and Tippi Hedren's husband at the time, Hollywood producer Noel Marshall. The cat's got a little excited. That's all. Oh. Was your father a genius or a madman to make this movie? Well, in hindsight, it is a madman. The cast and crew worked with more than 100 wild animals, including lions, tigers, leopards, and elephants that they raised themselves. First in their Los Angeles mansion, and then on a ranch north of Los Angeles. Before filming even started, one of the lions clamped its jaws on John's head. I got 56 stitches in the head, and it took six guys 25 minutes to get the lion off of me. You know, I, we probably should have figured out then that maybe this is going to be a problem. I got to go help your uncles. They're killing each other. The first day of filming, Noel Marshall was the victim. It was the big lion fight. Full-grown male lions are fighting each other, and he runs in to break up the fight. And then a lion bites him through the hand. Through the hand. Through the hand. And then he, like, you, if you watch really closely, you can see he goes like this and shakes the blood off and shakes. And then he goes in and he breaks up the fight again. Melanie Griffith was attacked twice. This is the scene where Melanie is on the kitchen floor with Boomer. <laughs> the lion grabbed her hair with its teeth and wouldn't let go. No, no! Later, Griffith was clawed in the face, requiring over 100 stitches and reconstructive surgery. The film's cinematographer needed 200 stitches in his scalp. Hedron fractured her leg, falling off an elephant. <laughs> now, an animal rights activist, Hedron is working to pass a bill in Congress that would prohibit most private possession of big cats. She has expressed regret that her family lived with the dangerous animals. I still, when I watch the movie, you know, have nightmares for a day or two after, uh, you know, watching it. Neither Tippi Hedren nor Melanie Griffith are promoting the film's re-release. In a statement to CBS This Morning, Hedren said, It is far more productive for me to focus on the positive things that I am doing now. Her ex-husband, Noel Marshall, died in 2010. The movie cost $17 million to make and grossed just $2 million when it was released overseas in 1981. It was never shown in American theaters until now. I knew eventually... Uh, somebody would figure this film out. Be assured that no animals were harmed in the making of this movie, but the same can't be said for the humans. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Hollywood. I'm thinking don't take the what? kids.